In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the skill of Yoda, what that actually means, why it's so important for you as a leader to practice the skill of Yoda, and also give you some tips on how to actually do it. We all know Yoda, everyone's favorite little green character from Star Wars, also known as the most emotionally intelligent character probably to ever hit the silver screen. And what I love about Yoda is that he was always guiding the Jedi in Star Wars. He was always talking about feelings and emotions and using the force. And when I think about leaders of today and leaders of the future, I think the skill of Yoda is an important one. Now, the skill of Yoda really means that you as a leader embrace and focus and master two important elements. The first is empathy, and the second is self-awareness. Empathy is about being able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes, being able to understand their perspective and where they're coming from. Literally, if somebody comes to you with a problem, it's thinking about a time when you experienced something similar, remembering how you felt, and only then responding to the other person. Not by saying, I'm sorry, we don't need sympathy. We get sympathy all the time, that doesn't help. Really, we need empathy, this connection. I understand how you feel. Here's what I did when I was in a similar situation, right? That's the connection. That's where the humanness comes from. Empathy, again, understanding somebody else's perspective, where they're coming from. And one of the simplest ways that you can do that is to actually imagine a time when you experience something similar and relate that you experienced and that you, you understand that emotion to the other person. Self-awareness is about how you see yourself and how other people see you. So for example, do you know what your strengths are? Do you know what your weaknesses are? Do you know what motivates you? What zaps your energy? What excites you? If you were to write those things down on a piece of paper, and then if you were to go to one of your coworkers or one of your peers and ask them those same things, would their responses about you align with your own responses about yourself? Self-awareness is about the internal piece, how you view yourself, and the external piece, which is how other people view you. And two leading experts in this area, of course, Brainy Brown when it comes to empathy, and self-awareness, Tasha Yurik. And she is the one who developed this idea of the internal and the external self-awareness piece. So this is what the skill of Yoda is all about. It's about practicing these two things putting yourself in somebody else's shoes, understand their perspective, and try to refrain from making judgments, and also being able to understand yourself and understand how other people see you and to determine if there is alignment in those areas between how you view yourself and how other people see you as well. This is a very, very crucial skill for leaders to master, especially in this virtual world where we are trying to connect with each other and people are working from their homes, from their kitchens, from their closets. We're literally letting each other in to our homes, into our lives. And this ability to connect on a human level is really all about emotional intelligence, which comes down to empathy and self-awareness. So the skill of Yoda is a very important one for you to practice and master, and also to teach others on your team to think about as well. So I hope that after watching this video, you will not only go back and watch some Star Wars films, but that you will practice the skill of Yoda inside of your organization and inside of your life as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you subscribe to the channel for more leadership tips just like this one, as well as interviews with some of the world's top CEOs, business leaders, and authors. I'll see you next time. Hey, it's just a quick reminder to check out my brand new PDF, thefutureemployee.com, which looks at how employees are evolving and changing and what you as an organization need to do to evolve and adapt. You'll get a complete breakdown of what that evolution looks like, as well as action items that you should be taking. It's an invaluable resource and you can grab it at thefutureemployee.com. Again, that's thefutureemployee.com.